Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 66. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, we're here for the Class R1 European Tour, and uh, if you haven't already noticed from the thumbnail, there's a new car in this game that wasn't in the last games. It definitely wouldn't have been in Motorsport 2 or 1. I never saw it in Motorsport 3, though. It's a 2009 uh, Aston Martin Lola LMP1 car. Obviously, I had to take it because I've never I've never seen the car before. It looks sick. So we're starting off with Nurburgring, then moving on to Magello, Silverstone, Hockenheim Ring, and then finishing off with Le Mans. Let's get going. Look how cool that is! Now the fact that Aston Martin made stuff like this, like Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Actually, now I've just realized, this is our first race with LMP1 cars. And I've spun on the first corner. Woohoo! That's actually really cool, though. We're finally into LMP1 territory. Like, race. Race car territory. These are obviously some of the fastest cars in the game. They didn't get Formula 1 till I believe, either Motorsport 6 or 7. And I believe IndyCar was added in six, maybe five. But I know from Motorsport five, six, and seven, they definitely made an improvement on actual motorsport vehicles. Motorsport four still had a decent list. Like, don't get me wrong, there was a decent choice of motorsport cars. But Motorsport five, six, and seven just had so many more motorsport disciplines. Which is why it's so irritating about... I, I'll bring this up once. And I won't bring it up again. I probably will bring it up again. It's why it's so irritating with a new motorsport. The fact that there's just nothing to do with motorsport in it. Like, there's no series at all. You have a look at, like... All the new con... The, nothing. Oh! There we go. The typical car going off the track. Malarkey again. Woohoo! Maybe his controller disconnected. Can that happen with AI? Who knows? There's just seven really small people in the Xbox that just have their controllers connected and they're playing against me. One of their controllers died. Oops. Oh my gosh, that's so fast. Hey, at least the traction control worked this time. I I will admit I've gotten really dependent on traction control in Forza just because it's a little more unpredictable than, say, Gran Turismo or... Uh, I mean, Gran Turismo 7, I love having the traction control off because of the adaptive triggers. It makes it so much easier to actually control throttle input. Forza is a little bit different. It's not as easy.
Not bad. What's the interior like? Eh, it's just normal. I find it crazy how big those wheel arches are, though. Like, it almost reminds me of, like, the old school, like, 20s cars. I say 20s. We're in the 20s. Fuck. That feels weird to say. I mean, the 1920s. Not the 2020s. Um, yeah, so, some of those old school, like, cars where the, the wheels go, they sort of arch from, like, the back and they go up. You know what I'm on about. I hope. Otherwise, I, I've got no other way of describing it. But no, it, it reminds me of some of those. But how on earth the actual drivers would be able to see out? Like, if they were next to it. Jeez. Impressive. I'll give them that. All right, we got one more lap to do. Having traction control is weak mindset. It 100% is. How big is that delay? It's like, it's like three minute delay. I really hope that's not an issue on my end because uh, I, I may have to fix that. Um, yeah, no, traction control is I don't know. I would like to be able to turn traction control off. The only issue is, a lot of the times, I'm going between different cars constantly that I'd be losing time all the time. Like, I'd either be driving slower cars that don't need as much throttle management that I'd then be losing a significant amount of time with, or I'd then be going to faster cars that again need a lot of throttle control that I'm not used to and I start losing control of the car so it, it's a really difficult scenario if that makes sense when you're when you're going through all these different events like for sure if I was sitting down just playing them in my own time then yeah maybe because I'm just you know messing about with the game You're in your 20s as well. There's definitely a delay. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's just... I don't know. Really not. I don't think it'd be enjoyable to play without traction control. Because I'm going between cars so quickly. It just had two large wheels. The wheels were too big. How big were they? Whee! Oh, you're going straight off. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Literally got into that braking zone. He was miles ahead. I was like, oh, no. he's d They've done it again. The car has gone off.
Ford Model T with recent stuff. Unpopular opinion. Well, it's not even opinion, it's probably a fact. But I think the Ford Model T of the current day right now is the Ford Puma. Because the amount of cars that they've been pumping out of the Puma range, since it's come out, the amount of cars that I've seen that is a Ford Puma, in, in the UK specifically, may, maybe everywhere else it's not the same, but in the UK specifically, the amount of pu like, I can see a Ford Puma every every few roads. Who let you cook? I I fucking love this meme. It's so good because it's like every time someone's like onto something and their brains like coming up with something good, it's like who let you cook? I love that meme. It's so good. It's not. I've never been like a phrase that's ever been said before, except for the past like few weeks. Like, ah, oh, bro's cooking fire. Like, ah, oh, it's just great. I love that movie. Um, yeah. The, the Ford Puma is literally the Model T of the current generation. Like, before, I think it was the Mini Cooper. Like, the, when the Mini was really popular back in, like, 2012, like, 2008 to 2012, like, the Mini Cooper was the Model T of the current, of that generation. But right now, for the past, like, six months, it's definitely been the full Puma. And I think that's insane. Because that Puma's been out for what? No more than two years. Not even. I don't even think it was fully out when they announced the WRC version of the Puma. So... I've seen so many of them, it's unreal. Like, literally, when I, whenever I'm getting a lift with my grandparents, like, I will go and point out, like, Puma's like crazy. Because I made a point, and I was like, about six months ago, I was like, I've just seen Pumas everywhere. Like, they're so popular. And they were like, oh, I haven't really seen any. And I was like, there's a Puma. There's a Puma. There's a Puma. Literally, in one car ride, going from theirs, their house to my house, is about, I'd say, 15 minutes. Eight Pumas. In one car ride. Like, I'd seen, like, one Clio, maybe a, f a few of different cars. There's so many cars out there now. But, like, to see that many Pumas? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Like, like a Skoda, I'd say. I'd say definitely like the Skoda. Because the Skoda is super popular. Indie bin. Why did that exclamation mark not go through? Right, let's try that again. Wee. Ah, beat you to it, Heinz. Wee. BRB. <laughs> Uh, I am questioning whether I'm going to, depending on how many streams I do till the end of the month, because in theory we've got less than two weeks left before the next season of uh, stream avatars kicks off, because that kicks off on the 30th of this month. This season was a shorter one anyways, but I haven't streamed for a large portion of it, so... The potential is that I'm just going to make them as paid cars. Like, people will have gotten these ones for free. If they won, but... They'll become, like, paid cars. You get them just in the shop. Because we haven't done enough streams that I could do, like, enough Battle Royales that people could get the cars, you know? So... Oh, no, not paid, like, real money. Like, with your credits and whatnot. But normally, I have enough streams that people have enough chance. Like, regulars will pretty much unlock all the cars. Like, you unlocked all the 
hybrid ones. I think Zeno unlocked all the hybrid ones as well. He was here a lot. Uh, nothing but cars did the same as well. Got all the hybrid cars. And I think DT got two or th two of them. One or two. He definitely got the LaFerrari because he was here earlier with it. How the fuck do I keep winning? I, d I don't even get it. We got the Mark IV Super away. Technically speaking, if it wasn't for the fact that I have everything unlocked, anyways, I've won the Mark III and the Mark IV. So, woo. But yeah, if I can get a stream every day, or every, I can't stream tomorrow because I'm doing stuff, but if I can get at least five streams this week, so basically streaming Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then also get some streams, five more streams next week, then I'll keep them as like exclusive cars. But if I can't manage that, if I can't pull that off, then they'll just go back down to uh, where you can buy them for credits. Who knows? I'll see. I'll have to work it out. Not bad, though. I will take that result. All right, here we go. Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. Get out the way. Way get out of the way. Yeah, so on the, uh, what is it, 31st of October, which I believe is the release date of WRC, but it might be the 30th. There is the potential it could be the 30th. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, I need to get closer to the time. But uh, the plan is, once the game releases, that I'm starting a join -a -thon. How do you mess that one up? There's not even anyone there. Stupid it. Hang on. How the fuck has that AI gone off the track? I'm in the absolute bin. You've gone off the track and gained time. Hello, tell me your tell me your ways. We I'd have to do but I'm really terrible with this car around this track. It's peel time. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I'm so glad I got the proportions right. I'm not even kidding. You could not have picked a worse car for me to add. Because that car was a nightmare to get working right. Like, the proportions were all off. The quality was just really wonky. I couldn't get the alignment correct. I kid you not, it was such a nightmare. But yeah, no, that was honestly so cool. So cool. It looks great along with uh, the other avatars because it's just this little thing that's just there. It's so cool.
Yeah, I think I'm going to message um, the next season's fan pack choice to pick some cars. Probably do it tonight. Because I, I haven't even started like next season's cars. Next season starts in less than two weeks. And obviously I've got to edit all the photos for them. Plus, now that I've decided that the WRC races that I'm doing are going to be like like the WRC streams are all going to be, uh, what's it called? Member-a-thons. Join-a-thons. I'm going to have to get extra stuff for that. Oh my god. We've got hiccups on crazy. So yeah, fun. There is no way you do it again. If you do that again... Nah! That's nuts. How the hell have you won? Four times in a row, you've won 50% of your rewards back. It's crazy. That's great. And then you get a fucking jackpot with the smallest amount out there. That's nuts. 155. <laughs> you don't want to win. Why don't you just buy more cars then? Get more avatars. Or do the roulette. Roulette's a good way to just lose shit. Or do the slots and just lose. That's also a good way. I can't believe that took five spins for you to lose it all. That's nuts. Sounds like a Delta Heavy song. Sounds like the one that sings, um, Kaleidoscope. I could be wrong. Bonk. Straight in the wall. Oi. Somehow didn't kill the cameraman. Why is the cameraman in the middle of the track now that I think about it? That seems stupid. Silly placement. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. People, it's time to work it. This is what we do. Bum 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 Get out me wee lad Oh 
Oh, I was in reverse. I didn't mean to be in reverse. I'm sorry. I apologize. So, one, one of the issues that I'm having, so Liquidity aren't removing copyright claims from my videos properly. So, what I'm thinking I might do, um, I, I don't think I'll be continuing Liquidity. The issue is, I'm able to use Liquidity. I lose monetization, but I don't get any sort of issues of like copyrighted content detected or anything like that. I don't get any of those issues with Liquidity. So I may end up just keep using Liquidity but cancel the, the license for it if that makes sense. Because the license doesn't work. At the moment I'm using it as if I don't have a license. Because I'm still getting copyrighted for it. Even though I pay for the license that has no because their, their system, they don't want to do a whitelist system. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just stupid. So they won't do like a whitelisting system where you can whitelist the channel. Like Monster Cat does. So Monster Cat, I can play any Monster Cat song, no issue. As long as it's under the creator license. Which it will say on the website. I think like 95% of all songs on Monster Cat are fine anyways, so... But like anything that's under that creator license, I can play, I won't get copyrighted. Because I'm whitelisted on their system. Like they won't copyright me. And if they do, I just send them a message and it's sorted within 24 hours. And obviously the money's in holding, so the money gets returned as well. Whereas the other way around with Liquidity, I have to send them every video link and they'll approve it or not approve it. Which means I'll have to turn around and send them like three links a day. Like wouldn't it just make more sense to just whitelist the channel? Just a thought. Coolio. Didn't mean to shift into reverse, but... Extra style points, I guess.
Not bad. Dead Mouse, can we make those the official lyrics? <laughs> that, that should be, um, 100%. The lyrics for that song. Disco lights in the sun Shining down when I... Oh, that's killed me. It shouldn't be that funny, but it is funny. <laughs> uh, I, ca I can't wait to be done with today's stream. So I can have an, an hour to just refresh. Actually, I'm going to be doing a... Uh, I'm starting this new series. Like a YouTube short series where I try all the uh, sneak flavors. I'll do one like every three days or something like that for now and then if it ramps up I'll do it more more frequently but I'm just gonna I've already got one edited it's gonna go out tomorrow um, I'm gonna post it at like 12 on YouTube and then at 2 on Instagram I think I don't know see how that works Such toxic driving there. I'm just like, bump, get out of the way. Bump, get out of the way. I really do want to try and get um, this car running at... Oh, sorry, a car running at over 250 miles an hour. I know the Bugatti can do it, hence why I want to try that. Because I just want to see what happens to the camera when you go at ridiculous speeds. Because the camera view, it seems to be like a never-ending, like, it keeps going. It keeps getting darker and darker. And the, the smoothing around the edges gets, like, darker and darker. And then all of a sudden, like, ah, it's bright. It's nice and bright and whatnot when you slow down. But it gets darker and darker as you keep getting faster. So I want to see how, like... Is there a point where the game just black screens? Like, can you go fast enough and it just sort of covers the whole screen? I don't know. I want to find out.
Not bad. Oh! Don't win too much curb there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my golly golly gosh. Not bad. That is the last, I believe this is the last race. Of the championship. But that is the last race done and dusted. Continue. There we go, level 79. I'm hoping we can get to max level, if there is a max level. By the end of this. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.